What is going on, everybody? Back on it. Berserk. I don't even know where we're at. 3, 17, 18, 19? Something like that? Yeah. 3, 17, 18, 19. Quick shout out, though. I don't know if you guys have seen it. We have a new little YouTube banner. Um, so shout out who was able to do that for us. I'm going to put his information in the pinned comment. I'll be shouting him out throughout the week. Um, Instagram at IL underscore WA1. I'll link his YouTube as well. Appreciate him helping me out with that. Um, kind of wanted to spruce it up a little bit. And then what I'm going to be taking suggestions from you guys as well is kind of on um, new equipment. You know, we'll be looking at new mics. I think I'm only, my videos only go up to like 720. Um, and I'd be curious, like, I don't know. I'm sure that information might be out there if I look at like bigger channels, but like how many people prefer to see videos in like 1080 compared to 720? And then I want to be looking at different lighting. So there's a lot of different things I'm going to be kind of like spitballing off of you guys in general or some of your favorite reaction channels or people that you watch on YouTube. A lot of those people kind of like link their equipment in the description. If y'all know anybody like that, that's cost effective, of course. I mean, we're not going to be out here getting the fucking. <laughs> three thousand dollar nikon xd triple xd cameras and type things but we'll look at some things try to upgrade some things and kind of go from there but again shout out to him for the banner work um for the patreon in the youtube all that'll be in the description jumping into this what's new guts is having to defend everybody by putting the armor back on um i don't know who or what that elemental thing is reaching out to him i thought maybe at the end of last chapter that would have like that was his consciousness trying to i guess battle back because essentially he's dealing with two like well i don't know if the does the armor necessarily play on your mental or does it just kind of do the physical because I, I don't know if he's dealing with like essentially two different things he's got the inner kind of like demon within him that kind of plays on his mental like the wolf kind of figure that we see all the time um, and I'm curious, like, does the armor play on his mental at all as well? Or is it just him battling kind of that inner wolf or whatever he has going on? Regardless, he's got that going on. Shirko wasn't able to kind of like get in there. So I don't know what this is that's like reaching out to him. Um, maybe it's her, maybe it's not. I have absolutely no idea. I'm still not even under the impression that Guts would be even, even able to take all of this out um even with the armor like there's a lot i think his physical body would just turn to straight blood <laughs> by the time he was able to go through it so we'll see how they are able to clean all this up i'm sure shirker will come up with something um we'll see how it goes drag that over there come over here oh press play on that let's wait to be able to skip these ads and skipped volume all the way up here here recording Mike is on. All right. Berserk 317. Let's see what we got. That's right. You know this. You mustn't lose it. What is this good that's talking to him? You mustn't destroy it. Ooh, that's a great shot right there. Some good line work we got going there. Oh, his consciousness is starting to pull back. Oh, that didn't. It looks like he was trying to, but then the armor's like, hmm. I don't really feel like it. Dang, it's kind of like, what's going on? Guts, what's happening? I was about to say, the armor looks like it's like absolutely not letting that happen. He's resisting the armor's OD. Now's my chance. Yeah, girl, get in there. Get in there. <laughs> Wait, is she physically getting in there? Oh, she is. I thought she meant like, now's my chance, watch my body, and was going to like, Hit her fucking summoning to go within. She straight backpacked it. <laughs> okay. All right. Mistress Shirka, what's she thinking? Get in there, girl. Get in there. There it goes. All right. All right. Okay. We're in. Put it. Have we ever seen this, though? I don't know if you guys... You guys should be able to see the cursor now. See how it's, like, peeling off the... We've seen it peel off his head before, but it's... His, like, actual arm is coming out of here. Have we seen that before? What? 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 Mistress, you idiot. That was too dangerous. Stupid Shirka. Nice choke sleeper hold. <laughs> 
You might have gotten cut in half. His reflexes are way beyond yours. I'll second that. Never do anything that crazy again. You of all people have no right to talk, Guts. True. Grill his ass. Get him. You saved me, though. I owe you one. I mean, she loves you, so... <laughs> She'd do it again. Well, it was the only thing for me to do as a magic user. You owe her a lot more than just one. Go on, say you'll take care of her for the rest of... Okay, let's relax for a second. I'm not sure what happened, but it was so cool. You're so brave, Shirka. I love... Um, What was her name? Uh, Is uh, Isma? She's great. She's great. Like, she's... Just a completely different personality, aside from, like, all the other kind of, like, with what Casca's got going on and her depressing backstory, and uh, and then you could say hers isn't great either, but she at least has, like, a, a sobering personality on top of, like, her life. You got Cas Casca dealing with, Casca's not dealing with it, I mean, she might be, but she's just in sleep mode. Farnese can't get out of her head, Shirka's got everything she's got going on, and just a kind of nice... He's it's, it's almost like she, she's like female Isidro, almost. The monster situation looks mostly resolved. I don't see that pirate ship around. Sure makes a quick getaway for a slug. Wait, the monster situation is resolved? How? I thought we weren't even remotely close. And I'm again amazed at how superhuman he is. It's hard to tell which side's more monstrous. He's more powerful by himself than an entire warship. Still, why do you suppose Casca went running off like that? You tell me. Good question. Is that the kid? Like, what are you doing? How are you even here right now? What's going on? Why are you here? What, 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 what? Okay, so that, it's a little more interesting because I thought Casca just took off for a regular kid. Just some rando dando kid that survived in the village or didn't get taken over. So I was like, dang, she's really like, like, her and kids is really, like, a triggering thing, but no, she specifically perked up and... And there's no, like, she has no rhyme or reason. There's no sense of, I feel like, danger in her head of, like, oh, I shouldn't go over there. It could be dangerous. Like, that would make her hesitate. Like, she's essentially just a dog. Like, she sees, she goes. Um, But it was for that one specifically. Say what? We saw him that time at the shore. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. How... What are you doing here? You know him? Yes, we met him in our, on our journey before we reached Vitronis. Is this a coincidence? He sure is pretty, but why is he naked? <laughs> there was a full moon the last time he appeared, too. Nights with full moons have very deep magical significance and are full of magical power. He's appeared now during two of them. And how could I fail to notice he was here until just now? Although I can hardly sense the mysterious OD and hostility from that time oh is that what was reaching out to him telling him to calm down possibly did you do that are you from this island then I can tell I've I can tell you I've never seen him here put this on the sea breeze will chill you to the core um who's this girl <laughs> I'm Isma. I made friends with the Seijo and Shirka a little while ago. I live on the other side of the island. But as it turns out, I'm the last person <laughs> on the whole island. <laughs> nice to meet you. I really hope she comes with us. Surely they didn't give her a panel, like a little bio blurb for her to not come with us. I think she is the... She, it's just a, a female Isidro counterpart. Just like without all the like cockiness. She has, like, the wonder to her of, like, what does the world have to offer type outlook. Uh, hey, Captain, can she come aboard your ship? I mean... <laughs> it's cool, right? She's just one more person, or what? You're gonna leave a kid here alone in this monster nest? In this monster's nest? Is that how heartless the Ithanavi is? You the same as those pirates? I get it, bro. You have a crush. Relax. Well, I don't mind your guest as my guest at this point. A generous captain's a good captain. Good news, Isma. Anyway. <laughs> you better come with us now. We can figure out later whatever's next. Leave the Yeah, so this is what I'm curious about. Does she leave? Because I have a feeling she's kind of like on her... 
like Ray Skywalker type vibe of like, well, my mother's gonna come back eventually. Like my family's gonna come. They're not coming back. Um, so I said there. I think there's four options I gave her. She dies here during all this, which, knock on wood, doesn't seem to be. Um, she comes with us. Her mother shows up. Or she ends up doing something and the townspeople end up seeing her as like, oh, wow, she's not so bad. You know, let's take her in, you know, treat her nicely, not like a piece of shit. So I think two options are already done because there's no townspeople left and she hasn't died. So does her mother show up or does she just come with us? What? You don't want to? No, no, it's not that. I'm just surprised. I've always wanted to ride on a big ship like that. Awesome. It's an adventure. All right, we'll just finish temporary repairs and get the hell away from this place. Right, back to swaying the, back to swaying, back to the swaying bed. I guess it's better than sleeping forever here. There's still something we need to do. Not quite so fast. Oops, read that out of order. What are you saying? If we don't hurry, more monsters will come. There's no guarantee you killed them all here. True. We'll be helpless if they attack us at sea, and we can't afford to. Wait for the morning sun. Yeah? We'll settle things here in the island. Oh, they're going to go in the cave and handle it. Alright. But how? We don't know where the nest is. <laughs> yes, we do. I know where it is. The cave. That's the one. But if we stay here, the ship will still be attacked eventually. I have a plan to deal with that. Oh, okay. Could we all go back to the ship for now? We also need to prepare before you march off into enemy territory guts. You got it, Spellcaster. So, is the boy going to disappear with the full moon, or what's going on here? Oh, no. Sleeping in a stable bed sure was a relief dream. So it sure was a brief dream. Now we'll spend the night in fear of a monster attack. You have to get used to it eventually. I wonder how many fish you can load into a ship that huge. <laughs> Try and find out. It's full of smelly guys now anyway. Well, okay, so the slugs just kind of... No, I mean, he he did slice a majority of them up there. Hmm. What's up? What are they going to do? Um, Why must it be out here? This is the best spot because it's so close to the center of the ship. What are they going to do? They're going to cast a spell to protect the ship. Uh, does that mean we'll get to see Shirker's magic? No, not quite. I will cast the formation of the four. Oh, Farnese is going to do it. Let's take a second here and Shirker, let's think about this. I'm all for Farnese getting practice. Like, you know, she definitely needs it. Hopefully she can be just as good as you one day. Um... But can't we practice on, like, non-life-or-death things? <laughs> Something a little smaller scale? Lady Farnese, again? I can have be some kind of witch? But it's so sudden. I cannot, mistress. I've never cast a single... Calm down. I now must become luminous and go with guts to meet the enemy. Ah. Wait, but can you not cast it and then go do that? Or does the... I forget how her kind of like barriers and stuff work. Does she have to remain in trance, like in the luminous, to keep the barrier going so she can't be on guts and cast? I guess. If the enemy comes and attacks during that time, you, a mage, must be this ship's key defense. Key defense, mage, me. You'll be okay. The formation of the four is powerful, but it's one of the most basic spells. It's an ideal choice for your first time. You'll have no trouble now that you've harnessed your luminous body. Focus and have faith in your training. I will, of course, guide you through the... I was about to say, at least make sure she has it set up before we just leave. Oh, gosh, she's going to freak out. She's looking at Guts, like, can I do this? He's like, I don't know if you could do this. What's happening? All right, I hope it works well. Okay. Even with those cards up, won't the directions change if the ship moves? Bingo. Hey, this ain't some show. I guess we don't have much of a choice. Once the spell is fully in effect, the caster needs only to maintain her subconscious bearings. Well, now as always, we synchronize our rhythms. 
I am a mate. Yeah, girl, get to casting. I am the key defense. I have a feeling she's going to be like really pushed. And I wonder if she'll be able to uh, handle it. We'll see. We shall see. All right. 318. Let's see what we got. O blessed king of the east, whose spirit rises over the mountains, and whose golden remnant gleams like the sun. I've never before felt such an enormous power. O blessed king of the west, whose name trembles even the water spirits who caper beneath the waves. Such enormous emotion, such enormous existence. O blessed king of the south, brilliance greater than the everlasting flame is thy majesty. I feel how small I feel how small a thing I am. O blessed king of the north, it is for thy And see here's the thing with this, like and I don't know how like great these spirits are, but like can they be called upon by multiple like mages and witches and casters at the same time? Or is it, like first come, first serve, or like who do they give loyalty to? What if I what if like some for hypothetical this is never gonna happen, what if Farnese and Shirka have a fallout? They're having this massive Sauron Gandalf battle back and forth, bop bop, just witches going at it. Who, which spirit answers to which one? Like, who gets that benefit? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I feel how enormous the thing is of a witch I'm a part. Well, do what you gotta do, girl. Summon them down. What's that? What's happening? Look at that wild stuff. <laughs> Looks like she pulled it off. All right. Wow, well done, mistress. The ritual? Was the spell successful? Wow, what's this light? Is it an aurora? I've never seen its like. I did this? Supposedly. <laughs> now that's something. I've sailed all over the world and I've never seen such a thing. You mean you did this? We might make money with this at ceremonies. Well, so what? It's not like you can expect women and children to swing swords. Okay, Cedro, let's relax there, bucko. <laughs> Congratulations, Lady Farnese. That was splendid. Now you can truly count yourself among the ranks of a mage. That's pretty good for your first try. It's your watch. Oh, Lord. I want Farnese's, like, spells and things to be tested. But I, I mean, I, I wouldn't mind seeing it, what it would do to her mental if things broke through and started taking people out. I don't want them to take any main characters out, but someone like the ship crew, I just would want to see. Because we know she has stuff that she's unhinged in there. Like, it might be locked away, but it's in there. And I'd be interested to see like somebody with like an unstable mental and things not going that way with a little bit of magic on their side as well, like what that might do to her. Um, well, we'll see. Okay, I swear I won't let you down. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know what the next song is, but just want to make sure here that we don't go too crazy with it. Because you know how they be doing. They don't like it when you uh, YouTube really don't like it, you know? All right, we'll wait for this to skip and we'll get back on it. I gotta make. There's like two songs that they don't agree with, but we haven't gotten to that yet. Now, as long as Farnese stays within the formation of her spell, and this light remains within her subconscious, no evil being of the astral world will be able to touch this ship. I'm gonna be honest with you, Shurka. Have you seen what's happened to the world? Like, is that even a confirmed statement that like no being? I don't know about that, girl. The same thing again. Like, does that mean God Hand as well? Could the God Hand not get through that? I don't know the comparison of witch's power to that kind of like demonic. She said nothing of the astral. Mm -hmm. However, its power is halved against those of the physical world. Hmm. Hmm. Now that the base is secure, we might as well get a move on. Man, I sure drew the short stick guarding women and children. I want to fight with that sea god thing too. A good soldier knows what he's capable of and completes the job set before him. 
<laughs> All right, uh, Master Jedi, I appreciate it. All right, then drawing anything on, draw anything on her, and you two will be sleeping with the fishes. Please take care of Casca, that boy, and my body. Yes, you can count on us. Please be careful. Well, Sopika will be here, so if Isidro shits the bed, at least we got him. Um, I'm very curious. I don't know if the boy physically stays around when it's not a full moon, but what that might... Well, the elves supposedly might be able to give her her mind back. Maybe this is kind of... Maybe he can pull her mind back, though. Like, when the elves unlock her, I would love to see it. I really, really hope we get it. Before I run out of chapters here, I don't even know where you guys are at, which is like 50-so chapters away from where I'm at. If Casca has... If we've met with the elves, and if she's... They've kind of like... Turned the lights on, essentially. And probably the utter freak-out and just trauma that's going to be there when they turn the lights on within her. But maybe the boy can be like what... Uh, keeps her from going completely mentally insane when they turn her lights back? I don't know. I don't know. And I don't even... Do, like, when the full moon goes, when the sun rises, he might just poof. I don't know. I'm sorry to ask this of you. If possible, I'd like to oppose this foe with magic, but the OD blowing out of that cave is powerful. I fear the interior of the island is totally under the sea god's control, and the spirit's powers would hardly make a difference. Mm. So essentially, Guts is going to have to do it. I'm afraid you must put yourself at risk once again. What's the big deal? I'm counting on your help too, Miss Good Luck Charm. Alright, she's gonna fall in love, relax. I realize that. I will not let you go berserk so long as I possess you. We will return alive and well, you'll see. Rest assured. Could you squat down? Oh right, sorry. Please begin. Well, even if Guts manages to retain his consciousness, it won't let... That's what I'm saying. This man's body can't keep doing this shit, so what are we going to do? This is... How many episodes is this that we're about to go into this? This will be two, right here alone. He used it on the ship. Three. Like, back when Ganishka, before he had fully become, like, hell. Um, And then he had used it in the forest... Were those the only... Was it the original... For, like, when he put it on for the first, first, first time? And was the only other time he put it on when we were riding... When we teamed up with uh, Zod, uh, Zod there? I feel like I'm missing an instance in there somewhere. Like, there was something between us fighting Ganishka and us putting it on for the first time. But regardless, that's four already. And his body coming out of it every time is looking worse and worse and worse. So, what are we going to do about that? Because clearly this is going to be a reoccurring theme. Um, do we just let him wither away? Or what? I don't know. Damn, it's such a pain to restrain this thing. But you can summon it at the drop of a friggin' hat. It's like a starving beast. Snapping at bait. What is it this time? Is this more magic? All right, y'all better watch the body. What happened? Her spirit came out. She's haunting guts. Well, it's growing in power. It's grown in power. The flow of odd is more intense than before. But I will restrain it. And I wonder if that's another thing. Do you think the more his physical wears down that he can't fight off? it and that's why it's getting stronger every time oh no well the more he uses it the more it overtakes him type thing like a little frodo in the ring every time he keeps putting it on it's just gonna like take more of him and more of him and more of him until the point where he's just gonna completely just mentally give in guess we'll find out all right well here we go we got his face exposed and shit all right so that's how you put on and take off armor it's like it's alive or something don't go near, it's dangerous. Guts, do you recognize who we are? Don't worry, I'm thinking straight. At least straight enough to know who not to bite. <laughs> Let's start. Here we go. Don't get peeled off. No need to worry. Alright. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> he skips across there like that. 
Uh, that ain't human. Uh, sir, you're not wrong. <laughs> He's like a flying fish. Are all knights like him? Knights, they don't make even... Knights, they don't even make humans like him. You better prepare for battle too. You know what I would love to see? Like, somebody else fuck around and, like, had to put on the armor because Guts can't do it. Just, like, a one-time thing. <laughs> I'd love to see, like, a Cedro put that shit on and go crazy with it one time for the one time. I don't know if that'll ever be a thing, but... Isma, what are you sensing? What are you two sensing at the same time? What's going on here? Sensing mother mermaid or sensing demonic sea god? I hear those voices again. Voices? Oh, shit. What's happening? One thing's for sure. Oh, hold on. This it? One thing's for sure, looks like this is on a different level than those sea hairs. This isn't like it was during the day. It's awake now, the sea god. She says she hears those voices. We'll see what that means. All right, 319. Ooh, we're already at 26. All right, this is going to be a longer. We're going to be definitely over 30 minutes. It's convenient what this does for my night vision. Still, this intimidating feeling reminds me of when we entered that... Uh, Plop place. That Q will just go with Q place. If this were merely Q, I could borrow the power of this of the spirits of darkness who dwell there. Oh, so she can pull from dark spirits too. That's what I'm saying. We got any dark witches out there or what? In this domain, though, the powers of most spirits are blocked by the sea god's powerful spiritual presence. Yeah, it does look like we're descending into the depths of hell. Oh shit! Guts. A stone statue it's probably a seal it could be a it could be from an ancient culture or maybe in any case beyond this see this is what i'm saying though as i'm saying opposing to to griffith can things like this like sea gods and fire uh, gods and other things like if those spirits or gods are somehow just like a, just descended upon the city like they're taking out all the apostles like zod included right like is that is that giving guts uh giving Griffith a run for his money or what? I have absolutely no idea. I don't as I'm saying, I don't know where like God Hand and Griffith and witches and everything else. I don't know where that power scaling kind of ranks. I don't know. Who knows? In any case, beyond this, we're going to knock on Hell's front door. And a bad shot. This is the Sea God Shrine. Here they come. Oof. It's uh, quite a lot we got going there. Just a little bit. Something slight. <laughs> uh, Alright, here we go. Coming to my house. You'd be most welcome here in me abode. Great, you, yeah. Great, you again is correct. I'm getting rather tired of that bony captain. You've overcome many trials and tribulations to finally arrive here. Well done, brave sir. I kind of feel sorry for him now. Sometimes you just can't get by if you can't laugh at yourself. Of all Roderick's gang, you, Black Swordsman, there truly be only one word for your fighting style. Marvelous, it's inhuman. But too bad for you, no matter what superhuman feats you're capable of alone. Feast your eyes, will never run out of soldiers. There's no way for you to resist. And even all these brethren are not but a single part of you-know-who. Oh. Now strain those eyes, follow the faint light emitted by the brethren, and peer into the depths of darkness. Then know that what your gaze... Alright, this is where we gotta skip songs here. They don't... All... YouTube do not be liking that shit, that is for sure. But I think after this we should be good to go. Let AAA get their fucking two cents off my video. <laughs> what gaze upon be pure despair... All right, pure despair if you say so. Whoa. All right. We got a little bit going on here. <laughs> Something slight. Something slight. Too bad, huh? What you were fighting so desperately were nothing more than his whiskers bored up through the island. More's the pity. And naturally, the sea god took it, god took it right personally that his beloved whiskers were lopped off. Yeah, um, 
This is what I'm saying. We've got to physically just hack away at this thing. We can't just like set it on fire or do some wild shit like that or what? What spiritual pressure? I never experienced this much. How do you fight something? That's what I'm saying. That is what I'm saying. You're like a shrimp about to be fed to an octopus. You're about to be eaten, shell and all. Now chow down, brethren. You can't fight this mate. I'm agreeing. Even I think this is too much. I think it's too much. Let's fall back into the narrow part of the cave so you can take them on one at a... No bottlenecks. Make it too hard for me to maneuver. Ugh. Besides, I can't whittle away all my strength here at the front door. There's no way we're going to straight up fight all these things. Agreed. We're not. We're headed one way. <laughs> and one way only. I guess he's going straight in. We're leaping right into that big mouth. Leaping to its mouth. You heard me. You heard what I said. Hmm. I guess we'll do what we do. I mean, it, it's the best. Like, the scurvy dogs. That the scurvy dogs jumping around. I was about to say, did we even make it? But he's jumping past them. Oh man, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think this was the best shot for sure. Um, yeah, I'm because this is this is what I think is gonna be our opponents now, like this level type shit. It's not just like one-off apostles that he doesn't even need the armor for that he could deal with. We're gonna be facing things that like the armor has to be on, Shirka has to be attached to us at the same time. It's on such a massive power scale that it's. That I don't know how his physical body is going to be able to keep up. I truly, truly don't know how he's going to do it. Um, that's just a wait and see. Like, clearly we're going to get past this. Guts doesn't die 60 chapters before whatever the last chapter is, you know? Um, so they're going to figure it out. They're going to get past it. But if this is the level of things we're going to be fighting, I don't know. I don't know how he's going to be able to keep up. Because he's not going to just be able to, like do the same trick of like, okay, we're going straight for the head every time. Eventually, you're just not going to be able to get there without going through, you know? And I don't think he'll be able to physically keep up. So, like, it's been going on for a handful of, like, 10, 20, 30, 40 plus chapters. We gotta figure something out with this armor, because it's it's literally killing us, no bullshit. Um, so, we'll see what happens with that. Our niece is leveled up. I want to see her be te The thing is, I don't even think she could handle being tested right now, um, just because she doesn't have the skill. But she is, she is one of the more interesting mentals of the people that we've met. And there's a lot of unresolved things in there. Even, not even that far back of, what, 20 chapters ago when we saw her, like, thinking, like, she's not good enough to be a crew member. And so there's, there's still mental things she's dealing with. Um, and then that boy um, is clearly not 100% human. Can he even exist? Well, I was going to say, can he even exist in this plane? But aren't aren't both planes just one plane? And that was my question. I had a question about, like, it's not just like, oh, like, there's the physical and then there's the astral plane and sometimes you can walk between the two. I think it's just, we're just one plane right now, right? Um, so, like, where where does he go when it's not a full moon? Like, where does he, like, pixie dust off to? Who knows, but um, we'll leave it there and see. Appreciate it, everybody. Like, share, favorite, subscribe, and as always...